Hello, my name is Jose Barriga and welcome to the next video in this series of converting a Nissan Sentra to an electric car. And uh, well, now that the car is working, I need to align the front wheels because um, I moved so many things in the conversion just by removing the uh, transmission and a few of the parts in the transmission, the shafts, that the alignment got screwed up. So I need to uh, align it. Uh, and I'm going to align myself. I'm going to show you how I align my cars. And uh, I've been doing this for 25 years with uh, very good results. You may think, why not just take it to the uh, tire shop and have it aligned there? Well, um, I have a few good and bad experiences in the tire shops. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, sometimes they, after an alignment, they leave my car with the steering uh, wheel a little unaligned or the car moves to the right or to the left and sometimes they do a good job and sometimes they don't and most of the time when I have my car taken to the shops the, the, the tires will not wear even um, I, I don't want to think bad about these guys but it makes sense to me that if you if, if the alignment is bad you don't need tires sooner so uh, I don't know Maybe it's just me, but I, I trust in the alignments that I do myself. So, um, I, I'm going to show you, uh, for example, this car, I align this car up with my, my, myself, and it's been uh, doing great. It doesn't shift, and, and all the alignments that I do, if you if you see that the wear is very even, uh, when I do the alignments to my cars, they don't shift to the right, right they don't shift to the left, the, 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 the wheel is very straight, uh, it doesn't make weird noises, it gives me good uh, mileage, and when I drive in places with very polished concrete, when it's by the line it makes stretchy noises, that the tires, I, I don't have that problem, so I know that it's a, it's a, good, uh, a good work. When I release the wheel for a few seconds in a, in a straight street they just keep going straight so um, I think this is a very good method of aligning the, the cars so um, a little background in how the alignment works um, <coughs> so basically you have a steering wheel in the car which uh, is connected to uh, main part here that is pushing this I assume these are the tires so when you when you when you shift the tire when you move the wheel, this this works like this. These things move the wheel like this, and this of course moves the wheel like this. So um, to make an alignment, these two parts are the ones that are adjusted. These two parts. I'm not gonna go too deep into this because this is not really a video showing how to align a car. It's just a video to show how I align my cars. But uh, this is the this is the these are those parts, and they have a a, a road, and they have a, a recipient of the road. When you want to align a car, you just unlock this bolt, and then you move this road to the right or to the left to make it to make this part shorter or longer in each tire, and that will make, that will allow you to do this with the tires. You you can do this or this or this without moving the steering wheel. So now that we've covered this to, to make alignment uh, in my, my own way this is what I need. I need a couple of um, wrenches one for the road, one for the bolt. I need mission tape. I need um, something that I can rest this long uh, piece of aluminum down, it doesn't have to be this, it just has to be a little taller to, to rest the, the, the aluminum and you'll understand in a minute what, what this does and you need a piece of aluminum or wood something that is long enough to, go, to, to reach both tires you know it has to be able to reach both tires and also it needs to be very very straight you can, you can see it is very straight by looking at it like this you, you look at it like this you know pretty much you can tell when it's straight so um, I, I'm just using two to make it a little stronger so this, is, this is straight okay next thing we need to do is make a little mark here with a 
pen or something just to make sure that you're measuring everywhere in the same in the same I say at the same distance because you, you're going to line this up in the center of the tire. So basically, after you make your mark, the next thing you do is to make sure that in the car itself, the power steering is based straight. I mean, you the, the this level the, the way you want it. You know, you want to make sure this very level. Okay. Then you need to put the car in a flat surface like this one, and make sure there is no traffic. Uh, around the car because you need, you're going to need to be walking around the car a lot. So a garage is a place, perfect place for me to do this. Okay, so once the, the, pow the, the power steering, the wheel, the steering wheel is very low, the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that this is uh, uh, low. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, center the mark in the center of the wheel and I'm going to push it against the wheel uh, then I can look at the back of the car it has to point to about the same distance that to the same place that uh, the, the, the back wheel is so you know I can tell right there that it's a little close you know it's a little it, it, it opens this road it, it opens the aluminum a little bit so Looks like I need to move this wheel a little. I need to open this wheel a little bit. So that does. So that's not. That's not very good alignment. Now I do the same on the other tire. I do the same on the other tire. I put it in the center of the tire, and I check on the back. You see the, the the you see the back is not is not a good alignment. So this tire in the front needs to come a little this way, which I need to move the road to to make it you know so the all the tires match okay. Now that's just the first step. After you make sure after you make sure that the two front tires align to the back tires we completed the first step. Now, there's always a chance that the back tires are a little shaped like this, or they're a little out of alignment themselves. They're a little, you know, they don't have to be perfect of the tires in the back, maybe a different brand, so they don't necessarily are at the same uh, separation than the front tires. So here's the next step. You need also four little pieces or whatever you, you can use, but something to mark. So you do this, do this again. You're gonna do this again. Here's what you're gonna need this or anything is that is all that, that is going to hold this so it doesn't fall into the ground. So you're gonna do this again, put it on the center. Now you have to make sure that it's shorter in the back, that it doesn't reach the, the rear tire. It's not that long, so you you drop it to the floor. You you put it here and you drop it into the floor. There. Once it's in the floor, you just release. You release this into here, so it, it will hold it for you. And you take one of these and put it here. Okay. Now. You do the same, being careful not to move the mark that you just did. Like you pull it this way, so you don't move it. And now you move to the front. You do the same in the front. Make sure this is centered yeah, with the center of the wheel. And you drop, you drop the, the measure there. Mm -hmm. So you put a mark here, something that you will know that is in the place where the measure is. Okay. Now we go to the other side. And we do the same. We take our mark. Center this. And drop the front. Hold it here so it doesn't move. 
and check the place where it measured. Okay. And the last one in the back. It's usually a very good idea to do this with a piece of aluminum or wood because it's very light so you can work with this with no problems. Uh, where's my mark? Here's my mark. So, I do this again. I put this here. Okay. And then I move this away so it doesn't move any of the marks. The next step is to take the measuring tape and measure the distance. This is usually uh, much easier when you do this between two persons but as you can see one person can do it as well so basically you put in the mark and you measure the distance so you see I have 69 inches here okay about 69 inches now I go and measure the rear of the car I need to have about the same distance so it seems to be about the same but I don't want to move the mark with my tape so I'm going to just kind of go to the other side stay here but we'll just so I have 69 in front and I have 63 in the back that means this car is way out of, out of alignment. The tires are like this, big time. So, now that my uh, steering wheel is leveled, then I need to start doing this to the tires. But I need to do the same on both sides, the same, the same turns, so that the wheel doesn't get unleveled. And uh, this kind of gives me an idea which one I need to turn more. When, when I, you know, after I did this with the rear tire, this should be much less, you know, this should be almost equal after the first step. So the second step is, it has to be much, uh, much less the adjustment that you need to do. And so basically you just keep adjusting until the measure in the front is the same as the measure in the back. And since you measure with the rear tires, the, uh, the, the wheel, the, the steering wheel, has to keep level. That has worked for me very well. I'm not going to show the, the adjustments, but you need to do a lot of adjustments. Measures, drive a little, go back and do it. Uh, I find also that it's always better to align the front wheels after you, finish, you, you last move the car to the front. Because if something is not very tight, and the car does this, when the you move it back and does this when you move it to the front it's better to last drive the car to the front to do this procedure uh, and that works very well uh, also the final advice uh, they will tell you on the tire shops always to have an alignment when you get new tires in my opinion if it was well aligned before it should be well aligned after and I personally don't touch the alignment when I get tires new tires unless something is really weird and if something's really weird I do the alignment myself but you don't really in my opinion you don't really need to touch the alignment when you buy new tires um, I hope this was useful uh, thank you uh, also if you like these videos uh, please click on some sponsors or or subscribe to the channel because uh, that's the way that uh, I can get some funds from YouTube to fund this project and keep doing interesting stuff that, that's the way you can support me if you, if you like these videos or to, you find them useful. Uh, until the next video, thank you. Bye.